When I joined the center, I've been told by my boss, then Professor Yudim, who is the director of the center, that if you have a good antioxidant and a drug that can trap the excess of iron, because iron rusts the brains in, with aging, so you might have a candidate, a potential drug for treating Parkinson's disease. So just by, by chance, by accident, I stumbled into a paper that was dealing with the green tea, and I saw that it could be a very good antioxidant for treating Parkinson's disease. And then I went to the literature, and I looked at all the research that has been done, and I didn't see anything about brain diseases or trying to help. Or The only thing that I found was research on cancer and inflammation. So I said, just a minute, in cancer, you want to kill the cells. In Parkinson's, you want to preserve the cells. So it's, it, it doesn't go each one with that. And then I looked at the, concept, at the doses that they were using, and they, they were huge. And then I began to reduce the doses. And suddenly, I saw that I can prevent the death of the neurons in Parkinsonian animals. And then we concentrated on which of the components of green tea are the best to rescue the cells, and we came to this EGCG, the main antioxidant of green tea. We began to study the mechanism of action of these antioxidants, and we found that they differ. Each one has, a, has its own mechanism of action. And specifically for this EGCG, we know that once it enters the cell, and this is a very important thing, that it can penetrate the brain, because most do not. And then we wanted to know when it comes to the cells and penetrates the cells, what happened there. And what we saw is that it activates, increases the levels of genes that are required for survival, very important gene pathways that are required for survival and proteins. And uh, this was a major breakthrough, in my opinion. Most of the studies that are, have been done with several drugs are called preventive studies. It means that first you give the drug, and then you cause the damage. Okay, this is prevention, preventive. But when you come to the doctor, okay, you come already sick, and then you receive medication. So we decided to cause the damage, to kill the cells, about 50% of the cells, like, like happened in Parkinson's disease, and then began to give green tea uh, polyphenol, EGCG. We saw that we can, after these cells were damaged, we can still rescue them. And this might have a very important implications for humans. So everybody should take the green tea, in my opinion, but not too much, because you know what happened. If you take too much, you begin to kill the cells, like in the case of cancer, that they use big amount. So like you are not allowed to, to take too much vitamin C, which is an antioxidant, or too much vitamin E, because you know you, you get this kind of uh, bell-shaped curve that at low concentrations you get neuroprotection, and then after higher concentration the cells begin to die. And this we have shown exactly how happened in the cell. So we have to work with low concentrations.